Hello everyone, I'm alive. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Kindly someone give me a thumbs up in the chat box if I'm clearly visible audible. Uh, give me a minute to confirm. If I'm clearly visible audible, I will start the session in it. Give me a minute. Okay, yes, I hope it's working. Yes. So I welcome you all for today's session. A very, very good afternoon to all of you. So here I am, as you all know, from morning today, we have started a series in pharmacology that is antimicrobial drug series. So in this series, we are going to cover entire antimicrobials in pharmacology in a simple way, in a simplified way, in a comparative way, right? So we know that for all the microorganisms, the antimicrobial drugs acts by one of the following four mechanism. So we will, I would like to draw a diagram to explain this. So this is a cell of bacteria or any microbe. This is the nucleus. This is the DNA inside the nucleus. This is the cell ball. And you can say this is the ribosome. On the ribosome, this is protein synthesis taking place. Now, there are four type of antibiotics or four type of anti uh, antimicrobial drugs. The drugs which inhibit cell wall synthesis. The drugs which causes pores in the cell membrane. In the cell membrane. The drugs which inhibit nucleic acid synthesis. And the drugs which inhibit protein synthesis. So by these one of the four following four mechanism, the drugs acts on the microbes, especially the bacteria or any microbes. So there are four mechanisms. Either the drugs are acting on the cell wall and inhibit cell wall synthesis or the drugs act on the cell membrane and produce multiple pores in the cell membrane or the drugs act on the nucleus and inhibit the nucleic acid synthesis, either DNA synthesis inhibition or RNA synthesis inhibition. Or the drugs act on the protein on the ribosome and inhibit protein synthesis inside the bacteria. So till now, in the last two sessions, I have already taken episode one and two. This is episode number three. Those who have missed the live record, live sessions, episode number and two, they can watch recordings anytime. In episode number one, I have covered all the drugs which inhibit nucleic acid synthesis. In episode number two, I have covered the drugs which inhibit protein synthesis inhibition. Now I am starting the drugs which inhibit cell wall synthesis. That is in this session, I am going to teach you beta lactams, right? So see, these are the four mechanisms we have already discussed. Either cell wall synthesis inhibition that I am going to teach you in this session or cell membrane causing pores in the cell membrane or inhibit protein synthesis or interferes with nucleic acid synthesis. Till now in session one and session two, episode one and episode two, we have already made these master tables. I always ask students to make these master tables with me in which we study the drugs in a comparative manner. So in the first session, we have already made this table between sulfonamide, trimethoprim and quinolones in which we have done a comparative analysis of the three type of antibiotics. All these are nucleic acid synthesis inhibitors. And I guess everyone is aware of this table. In the second session, we have made this table. That is tetracycline, chloramphenicol, aminoglycoside and erythromycin. These four are protein synthesis inhibitors. And uh, if you have missed it, please watch the recording for the details of this, um, th this uh, table. Now I am starting beta-lactam antibiotics. So what are beta-lactam antibiotics? Beta-lactam antibiotics are the antibiotics which inhibit cell wall synthesis in a bacteria. So since cell wall is present only in bacteria, not in virus, not in fungus, not in uh, parasite. That's why these are antibiotics. They act only on bacteria, not fungus, not virus. Beta lactam. What is the meaning of beta lactam? Beta lactam is a ring. Let me show you the diagram. This is the diagram of beta lactam antibiotics. In the diagram of beta lactam antibiotics, you can see two rings. In the two rings, the first ring, this ring, in which one is written, this ring. The first ring, this one, this one. This is thiazolidin ring. This is not beta lactam ring. And this ring with uh, a four corner ring. Can you see this ring? This ring is beta lactam ring. So all the antibiotics which have this beta lactam ring, they are beta lactam antibiotics. Beta lactam ring is important for showing antibacterial activity. This ring is very important. Now there are four types of beta lactam antibiotics. They are penicillins, cephalosporins, carbapenem, monobactam. So penicillin, cephalosporin, Carbapenem, monobactam. We will be studying these four chapters in detail in this session. So I will start first with penicillin, then move on cephalosporin, then carbapenem and monobactam in the end. In this way, we will complete all beta lactam antibiotics. So again, my way of teaching is same. I will ask you to make comparative tables between them and we will, we will be studying in the same way. But before starting the comparative analysis of the four type of beta lactams one by one, before starting penicillin, I would like to tell you mechanism of all four in common. 
So let me tell you mechanism of action of all four in common. Because all four act by inhibiting cell wall synthesis. So the mechanism of action, whether you talk about penicillin or cephalosporin or carbapenem or monobactam, the mechanism of action of all of them is same. So let me first discuss mechanism of action in common. It is applicable for all. Penicillin, cephalosporin, carbapenem, monobactam. The same mechanism of action is applicable for all. So all of them interf uh, interfere the, with the cell wall synthesis in the bacteria cell wall. So they all inhibit cell wall synthesis in a bacteria. So before understanding, you should understand the normal structure of a cell wall. What is the normal structure of a cell wall in a bacteria? So the cell wall in a bacteria is a polymer of two monomers. The two monomers are NAM and NAG. N-acetyl muramic acid and acetyl glucosamine. N-acetyl muramic acid is NAM and acetyl glucosamine is NAG. So alternate NAM, NAG, NAM, NAG. This is the diagram of cell wall and after that this is one row. Let's draw second row. So this is NAM, this is NAG, this is NAM and this is NAG. Now there are two rows. Likewise there are multiple rows. There is cross-linking between the rows. So the NAM of all is connected with each other. The NAM, not the NAG unit. NAM is connected. And this, this is known as cross-linking. Cross-linking provides stability. You got my point what I am saying? I am repeating again. You got my point what I have said it? Just a second. Let me show you the diagram. So let me draw the diagram. So this is the cell. This is the bacterial cell. This is the nucleus of the cell. This is the DNA inside the cell. This is the cell wall. What is the structure of the cell wall? In the cell wall, there is alternate NAM, NAG, NAM, NAG. Like this, there is alternate. These are the monomers which bind together to form the polymer. And cell wall is a polymer. Can you see? This is the first row. Likewise, there is second, third, fourth. So there is NAM, NAG, NAG. So how the various rows are bind with each other with the help of cross-linking. So the NAM unit is bind with each other and this is known as cross-linking. Cross-linking is very important for providing the stability. For providing the stability to the cell wall, the various rows. So this is row 1. So this is NAM, NAG, NAM, NAG, NAM, NAG. This is second row. Likewise, likewise this is the third row. So all the rows are interconnected with the help of NAM unit. And the cross-linking is very important for stability. If you got the normal structure, let me tell you the detail about it. How beta-lactam antibiotics inhibit cell wall synthesis. So in the NAM unit, there is a pentamer in the end. You can see this pentamer that is alanine, glutamine, lysine, alanine and alanine. You can see this is NAM, this is NAG, this is NAM, this is NAG. In all the NAM, there is a pentamer in the end. There is a pentamer in the end. It is there. The pentamer is always there. Now, uh, there is an enzyme known as transpeptidase. What does this enzyme do? This enzyme split the last amino acid in the pentamer. So, it is a tail-like pentamer is present in the NAM. So, d is splitted by beta-lactam, uh, by transpeptidase enzyme. And during this, energy is released. And that energy is utilized for cross-linking. Can you see the NAM units are connected with each other? Are you getting me what I mean? Okay, I'm explaining you again. See, this is NAM. This is NAG. This is NAM. This is NAG. I'm drawing normal cell wall. So, this is row 1. This is row 2. Let's draw two rows to understand. Now, I'm saying all the NAM units have a pentamer have a pentamer of 5 amino acid. It is present in all NAM units, not the NAG one. You know the full form of NAM and NAG. I'm saying there is an enzyme. The name of the enzyme is transpeptidase. What does this enzyme do? It split the terminal DLNI, the last amino acid, that is terminal DLNI in all the NAM units, during which energy is released. Due to the splittage, energy is released and that energy is utilized for formation of cross-linking. So these units are cross-linked with each other and providing the stability to the cell wall. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Is anyone watching me live? Those who are watching me live, give me a thumbs up if you got this mechanism. This is normally cell wall is formed. So normally cell wall is formed. Number one, cell wall is a polymer. It is made up of two monomers. So name the two monomer. It is NAM and NAG. NAM, N-acetyl muramic acid and N-acetyl glucosamine. So it is alternate NAM and NAG. Number one. It is a polymer made up of two monomers. The two monomers are alternate to each other. NAM and NAG is the name of the two monomer. Have you got it? So, Amar, have you got it? What I mean? So, in the NAM unit, what is the full form of NAM? So, first of all, cell wall is a polymer. Right? It is made up of two monomers which are alternate. Which are alternate. So, the two monomers are NAM 
N acetyl muramic acid that is the full form of NAM and N acetyl glucosamine that is the full form of NAG and they are alternate to each other. Let's draw the final diagram showing the mechanism of action of beta lactam. So it is alternate. So I am writing M to the NAM. I am not writing NAM, NAM and I am writing G for the NAG. It is NAG. So NAM, NAG, NAM, NAG, NAM, NAG likewise. This is row 1. Just below this, this is second row. NAM, NAG, NAM, NAG. So likewise alternate. And likewise there is third row, fourth row. Likewise there are all rows. NAM, NAG, NAM, NAG. Now what I am saying normally in, in all bacteria, the NAM contain a pentamer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 amino acid tail. A tail is present in all NAM units. So there is a pentamer everywhere. In all NAM there is a pentamer. So I am drawing a rough pentamer in all the NAM. This pentamer is very necessary. Right. The last, the last um, the uh, amino acid in the pentamer is alanine, D-alanine, right? The last amino acid in this pentamer, five uh, amino acids are there. The last one is the D-alanine. Now, there is an enzyme. The name of that enzyme is transpeptidase. What does it do? It split the last amino acid everywhere. Everywhere the last amino acid is split during which energy is released. And that energy is utilized for formation of cross-linking. Without cross-linking, so nam nam unit of the various rows join with each other. So in this way, the polymer is formed and they are connected like this also. And the various rows are connected like cross-linking is also. So that is the normal mechanism, how a cell wall is formed. Listen, now I am teaching you beta lactam antibiotics. Beta lactam antibiotics inhibit transpeptidase enzyme. Now you got it. Beta lactam means four types of antibiotics. Now it can be, it can be penicillin. It can be cephalosporin, it can be carbapenam, it can be monobactam. They all do same job. They all inhibit the transpeptidase enzyme. What will happen? The terminal d alanine unit will not be splitted off now because the enzyme is split, it is inhibited by the beta lactam antibiotics, right? Now the terminal d alanine unit is not splitted, so energy is not released. So energy is not released, so cross-linking will not happen. If the cross-linking will not happen, the cell wall is not at all stable. And the bacteria will lose the cell wall. Give me a thumbs up. Amar, give me a thumbs up. Others, have you got it? So this is the mechanism of action. So imagine this is a bacterial cell and this is the cell wall present over it. Now, if I want to kill this bacteria, this bacteria is present inside human body. And being a doctor inside the patient, I want to kill this bacteria to treat the patient. So I have given beta lactam antibiotics to treat the patient, right? Uh, I have given penicillin, cephalosporin, carbapenam, monobactam. So this is the beta lactam antibiotic. It is entering inside the bacteria and after entering inside the bacteria, in, inside the cytoplasm, there is an enzyme transpeptidase that is inhibited. Transpeptidase is required for cross-linking. So inside the cell wall, there is no cross-linking now. The cross-linking is inhibited because the enzyme which is required for release of energy for cross-linking is inhibited by the beta lactam antibiotics. So cross-linking is not there. So cell wall will become weak. So cell will lose cell wall. Now this bacterial cell is like this only. It is losing. The cell wall is lost. The cell wall is lost. So the, the, the bacteria without cell wall is known as cell wall deficient bacteria CWD. Cell wall deficient bacteria is formed. Bacteria is not dead yet. Only the cell wall is lost. You got my point? Because it becomes weak. Because there is no cross-linking. Cross-linking nahi hai to cell wall weak ho gai. Weak ho gai to lose ho gai. Lose ho gai to jo bacteria bacha without cell wall. It is known as cell wall deficient. Now, in this bacteria, water will enter, enter, enter. The bacteria will swell, swell because there is no one to protect the uh, bacteria now. Initially, cell wall was there, but now there is no cell wall. So, water will enter and osmotically it will swell, swell, swell. In the end, it will burst and the bacteria will die. So, that is how beta lactam antibiotics are bacteriocidal. Give me a thumbs up. So, that is the complete mechanism of action. So, normally, how cell wall is formed? In the normal cell wall, there is NAG and NAG. Both of them are alternate. And both of them are bind with UDP. So actually it is UDP now and UDP now. Right. They are alternate. Right. Now. Uh, okay. The final step is the cleavage of terminal D alanine. So all the NAM have a pentamer. We can see a pentamer here. A pentamer here. So in the pentamer the terminal D alanine is split off. And during which energy is released. This energy is utilized for formation of cross linking between various layers. Between various rows. And because of which it provides the stability and rigidity to the cell wall. But beta lactam antibiotics inhibit transpeptidase enzyme. And this enzyme is re required for the terminal step for splitting of the DLNI. 
Now there is no splitting of the D-adenine. So no energy is released. So no cross-linking is taking place. So whenever susceptible bacteria come in contact with beta-lactam antibiotic, so it will lose its cell wall. Once the cell wall is loose, a, a bacteria without cell wall is known as cell wall deficient bacteria. CWD is formed. Now because CWD is formed, the interior of the bacteria is hyperosmotic. So water will enter, enter, enter. CWD will swell. It will burst. The bacteria will die. And this is how they show their bacteriocidal action. Do you have any doubt in that? So all four beta lactams, all four beta lactams, penicillin, cephalosporin, uh, carbapenam and monobacterium, they all are bacteriocidal. They kill bacteria. They kill bacteria. First, they inhibit cell wall synthesis. Ultimately, the bacteria is killed. Right? Give me a thumbs up. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Have you got it? Now you tell me there are two types of bacteria. I, I want to ask you a question. There are two types of bacteria, gram positive and gram negative. In microbiology, you may have studied that. There are two types of bacteria. Say yes or no. Right. What is the difference in the cell wall of the two types of bacteria? Amar, what is the difference? Gram positive bacteria have a thick cell wall. And gram negative bacteria have a thin cell wall. Actually, cell wall made the alternate nam nam forms the proteoglycan content. So basically, gram positive bacteria have more proteoglycan content and gram negative have less have less proteoglycan content. Right. Now I am giving penicillin to kill these bacteria. So penicillin is more active against which of them? Gram positive or gram negative? Common sense. Not only penicillin, I'm giving any beta lactam, any beta lactam antibiotic. I'm asking to you, anyone who is watching me live, can you tell me the answer? Whether penicillin or any of the beta lactam, it is act more active for gram positive or more active for gram negative? With the answer, tell me the reason also. Why? You know the mechanism of action of penicillins now or beta lactams now. Yes, very good. Akshita, very good. Common sense. Now, so it is more active against gram positive bacteria and less active against gram negative bacteria because... The mechanism is cell wall synthesis inhibition. inhibition. Now, gram-positive bacteria have a thick cell wall. So, they are more inhibited, right? And gram-negative bacteria have a thin cell wall. So, they are less inhibited. So, this is how they are more active. This is the reason. This is the reason. This is the reason for high susceptibility of gram-positive bacteria for penicillin. The gram-negative bacteria are not very susceptible for penicillin. But gram-positive bacteria are very susceptible. This is a very important MCQ, right? Everyone give me a thumbs up. Penicillins are non-toxic to man. Why? Because man do not have cell wall. The cell wall is present only in bacteria. Just suppose I am the patient, I am taking any of the penicillin orally, injectively, any, anything. So the beta lactam antibiotic going in my blood. After going in my blood, two types of cells are present. The bacterial cell and the human cell. Bacterial cell have cell wall. Gram positive, gram negative, both. But human cell do not have cell wall. So penicillin does no harm to human cell. Penicillin do harm in the bacteria only because the mechanism of action of penicillin is inhibition of cell wall synthesis. So in human, there is no cell wall. There is no problem. In any. Give me a thumbs up. That's why they are non-toxic to man. Common sense. Right. Now, if you got the mechanism of action, what I am teaching you in this session? In this session, I am teaching you beta lactam antibiotics, which are four in number. That is penicillin, the first chapter. Cephalosporin, the second ch chapter. Carbapenam and monobacterium. These four chapters I am going to teach you in a row right now. Right. Now I will teach you all in a comparative manner. Comparing everything about them. But they have common mechanism of action. All of them have same mechanism of action. That is they inhibit bacterial cell wall synthesis by inhibiting transpeptidase enzyme in the cell wall. If the transpeptidase enzyme is inhibited by all of them. All of them, they inhibit the same, same enzyme, transpeptidase enzyme. So, if transpeptidase enzyme is inhibited, the terminal d alanine cannot be segregated. It cannot be, uh, you know, break. So, no energy release. No energy release means no cross-linking. No cross-linking means be, uh, the cell wall become, uh, the integrity of the cell wall is not there. The cell wall will be uh, shed off and bacteria will die. So, this is the mechanism of action. There is one more thing which is known as resistance. Bacteria do not want to die, right? No one likes to die. So bacteria also want to live. Bacteria also want to survive. That's why bacteria will do the opposition. And that opposition is known as resistance. So resistance is also same in all of them. So before starting the four individual chapters, I would like to tell you three type of resistance. Very, very important and very difficult to understand. The three type of resistance. Listen, this is the structure of the antibiotic. Can you see in this diagram what I have shown? This is the structure of beta-lactam antibiotic. Now this can be the structure of penicillin. This can be cephalosporin, this can be monobacterium, this can be carbapenum, right? All of them have one thing common. In all of their structure, there is a ring known as beta-lactam ring, this ring. 
This ring is very, very necessary for showing antibacterial action. Actually, it is the this ring which is inhibiting transpeptidase enzyme. Other part is not inhibiting. So, this ring is very important. You got my point. So, can you see? This is the ring. Can you see? This is the ring. Right. Now, see. This cell is bacterial cell. It's difficult to understand the resistance, but I am trying. This cell is a bacterial cell. Can you all see? This is a bacterial cell. I want to kill this bacteria. For killing this bacteria, I want to give beta lactam antibiotic. Any of the four beta lactam antibiotic. Can you see with blue color, I have shown beta lactam antibiotic. So, this is beta lactam antibiotic enters inside the cell with the beta lactam ring. In the structure, this is the ring. Can you see the square ring? Can you see the square ring? So, all the four beta lactam antibiotics have the square ring in them. So, this antibiotic is going inside the bacterial cell. And can you see here is the nam nam? I have drawn nam and nag, alternate nam and nag here. This is alternate nam, nag, nam, nag, nam, nag. And the enzyme required is transpeptidase. It is present here only. Transpeptidase enzyme. Right. Now, if the beta lactam after entering, it will reach here and inhibit the transpeptidase enzyme. So, bacteria will die. The cell wall synthesis will be inhibited and bacteria will die. But bacteria do not want to die. So, bacteria is doing three things. Number one, bacteria is decreasing the influx of this antibiotic and increasing the efflux. This first mechanism is simple. Either for the influx, some transporters are required that are altered. So, uh, beta lactam is unable to come in. The beta lactam antibiotic is unable to come in. And if it is coming, again, it is vacuumed out. Once it is coming, it is vacuumed out. So, either influx come kar do, ya influx bada do. So, antibiotic andar aega hi nahi. Aega hi nahi, to kaam kaise karega? So, yaan to usko andar aane mat do. Change the receptors on the surface. Or aaga ya to usko vacuum clean karke wapas bahar bich do. So, decrease influx, increase influx is the first mechanism by which bacteria can escape, can escape death, can escape from the beta lactam antibiotic action, number one. Number one, the second mechanism is complicated. Listen, inside the bacteria, can you see this? It is forming an enzyme. The name of the enzyme is penicillinase. It will degrade the penicillin. Penicillinase or beta lactamase, it will degrade the beta lactam ring of the penicillin. Whatever one and the same thing. Beta lactamase or penicillinase ka matlab ek hi hai, the same enzyme. Ya to wo penicillin ko degrade kar raha hai ya penicillin ke andar ki beta lactam ring ko degrade kar raha hai. As I have told you for the functionality beta lactam ring is very important. Can you see here in the first diagram beta lactam ring is complete. In the second diagram it is degraded. Can you see ya se it toot gai. The beta lactam ring is degraded. It is degraded with the help of an enzyme. The name of the enzyme is beta lactamase ya penicillinase. Give me a thumbs up. So, this, this ring will be degraded by this enzyme. So, as soon as the antibiotic is coming in, the ring is degraded by the enzyme. Enzyme is present. Pehle se hi baitha hua hai. So, jaise wo ghusa, uski ring degrade ho Give me a thumbs up. The ring is degraded. Right. And then now it become non-functional. It become non-functional. So, this is a very important way of resistance. Right. So, what humans have done? What humans have done? See. To but we want to kill the bacteria. And bacteria do not want to get killed. See the mechanism. The first mechanism is the formation of the enzyme. So, bacteria is forming an enzyme. The name of the enzyme is penicillinase or beta lactamase enzyme. The penicillinase or beta lactamase enzyme degrade the beta lactam ring. That's why it inactivates the penicillin. You got it, Priyanka. You got it. So, Amar, Akshita, you got it. So, beta lactamase ring is degraded. Right. Now, this enzyme is present inside the bacteria. In gram positive bacteria, this enzyme is present in large quantity. Right, and in gram negative bacteria, it is present in small quantity. But this is the enzyme. Can you all see? I'm talking about this enzyme. This is an enzyme. It will degrade the ring. It will degrade. But we want to kill the bacteria. I'm a doctor. I do not want the bacteria to survive. I want to kill the bacteria. For that, I want my antibiotic, which I'm giving. Just liye patient ne paisa kharch karke hai. The patient have purchased this beta lactam from the market. So beta lactam should work. I want this beta lactam should work and the bacteria should be killed. I want that. But bacteria is not want, bacteria do not want to get killed. So humans have done one more smartness. Ham logo ne kya kiya? Is beta lactam ring se problem hai na? So ham ne is beta lectam ring ko cover kar diya methyl group se. Bohan saari ham ne side chains laga diya is lower. So you know ghungat ne chupa diya. In Hindi if you say, if you, you can understand like that. So we have covered the beta lactam. We have covered the beta lactam from all sides with the help of side chains. We have added multiple side chains so that when this antibiotic is entering inside the bacterial cell, the enzyme cannot recognize there is a beta lactam ring chupiyoi inside. It is hidden. It is hidden. Ghungat ke andar chupa ke bejaan ne uska chehra. Right. So that ye isko pehchan na paaye aur usse pehle ke ye isko pehchane ye ja ke apna kaam kar de. 
Are you getting it what I mean? So we are sending a, 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 a antibiotic, beta lactam antibiotic in which multiple side chains are there which are covering the entire beta lactam ring. So that beta lactam ring is hidden inside the side chains. So that when the antibiotic enters inside the cell, the enzyme which is present to degrade the beta lactam ring. So beta lactam ring is not visible to the enzyme and it is hidden and, and, the, and the antibiotic can show its function. You got my point. So such such beta lactam antibiotics in which multiple side chains are present, they are known as penicillinase resistant penicillin. What they are known as? They are known as penicillinase resistant penicillin. Right. These are the penicillins which are not degraded by the enzyme penicillinase. So these are penicillinase resistant penicillin. Ye drug banake humans become very happy. Okay, we win over the bacteria. We win. Lekin bacteria aur humse ek kadam aage. Dekhna abhi ho kya karega. Right. So we win. Kya bola chal chhu. Tu ne enzyme banaya kya bada kar liya. Hamne to usko chupa ke bhej diya. Ab tere enzyme kya bigaad lega. Ab maarna hai to maar. Ab tu nahi. The enzyme cannot degrade the ring. Because we have covered the ring from all sides. So we were very happy doing this achievement. Humans were very happy. But bacteria is still smarter than humans. Right. So what did the bacteria do? Okay. Bacteria ne ka chichi. Thik hai. अब तुम घूंघट के साथ आओ या बिना घूंघट के आओ तुम मुझे बेवकूफ बना रहे हो यू आर कमिंग विद साइड चेन और विदाउट साइड चेन वॉट एवर पैनसल एंड एंट्रिंग इन साइड मी अल्टीमेटली वेयर इट विल गो इट विल गो हियर इन द नाम एंड नाग और अल्टरनेट यूनिट ऑफ नाम नाग एंड आफ्टर गोइंग देयर इट विल बाइंड विद प्रोटीन देयर दैट इज नोन एज पैनसल एंड बाइंडिंग प्रोटीन and then it will inhibit the transpeptidase enzyme. So, it said that if penicillin binding protein without binding, then you can't inhibit transpeptidase. So, now you can come with the side chain or without the side chain. I will alter the penicillin binding protein so that you cannot bind it. So, whether normal, normal penicillin is coming or uh, penicillin is resistant penicillin is coming, whatever is coming. But uh, if the altered PBB is there, it cannot kill the bacteria. So altered PBB is the last resistance. You got my point. So there are three resistance. All three are shown in this diagram. The first is decrease influx, increase efflux. Let me show you here in this diagram only. Just a second. There are three mechanisms. The first one is the decrease influx, increase efflux. So the first thing, beta lactam antibiotic ko andari matane do. Agar agaya, number two. Agar agaya to, agar agaya to, Bacteria ne bana diya enzyme. Us enzyme se, the, the, the enzyme will degrade the beta lactam ring. So it become non-functional. So second is the enzyme. The name of the enzyme is beta lactamase or penicillinase. One and the same thing. Give me a thumbs up. That is the second. Lekin humans are smarter. So they have covered the ring with the side chain. Ab uske liye usne nikala third mechanism. The third mechanism is altered PBB. Altered penicillin binding protein. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Everyone. Jitne audience utni thumbs up. So have you got it? The three mechanism. So first one is the enzyme, second one is the altered PBB and the third one is the decrease influx and increase efflux. So these are the three mechanisms very very important for the resistance. The first mechanism is the decrease influx and increase efflux. The second is the enzyme production. Enzyme production. You got my point. And third is altered PBB. Altered plasma uh, penicillin binding protein. Have you got it Amar? Do you have any doubt? Akshita, Priyanka, anyone else who is watching me live? Do you have any doubt? Now, there are a few important points in three mechanisms. The first mechanism, decrease influx, increase efflux. That is mostly important in gram-negative bacteria. In gram-negative bacteria, this mechanism is important, right? And uh, uh, the second mechanism, that is enzyme, it is common in both. Gram-positive as well as gram-negative, it is common in both. And it is the most common mechanism of resistance out of the three, right? Altered binding protein, the penicillin cannot reach to transpeptidase because the binding proteins are altered. They are altered. Now even MRSA, MRSA can defend by this way. You know what is MRSA? MRSA is man, uh, methicillin resistant Staph aureus. The Staph aureus which is resistant to methicillin also, right? So that can defend. So that is the important points about them. Now tell me, read the question and tell me what is true about it. So all of the following statement about penicillin are true. Penicillin resistance are true except, I'm asking except. Now this is the question from AIDS two years back. Difficult level question. So if you know the resistance, all the way of resistance, then you can tell me the answer. So what is the answer? Read the question first. So beta lactamase production is the most common mechanism? Yes, this is true. This statement is true, right? I'm asking the false statement, but this one is true. Beta lactamase production is the most common mechanism among the three. Among the three, I have told you here, you can see the most common. The most common is the enzyme production. Yes, so this statement is true. Alteration in plasma binding protein is the is an important resistance uh, mechanism in gram-negative bacteria. Is it? 
Is it? No, I don't think so. Because then gram negative important is decrease influx and increase efflux. It is not altered PDV. It is not important. It is important in MRSA. So this statement is wrong. Let's see the third. Yes, yes. Let's see the third. Alteration in permeability. By alteration in permeability, I mean decrease influx and increase influx. That is the only way of resistance in gram negative bacteria. This statement is also true. This statement in gram negative area, it is the most important mechanism. And last one, beta lactamase production causes resistance in both gram negative and positive. So we can see this is an important mechanism in both. So the correct answer is B because this is false, rest all are true and in the question except is asked. It was a difficult level question, I guess. Right, let's start the chapters. Let's start the first chapter penicillin. Again and again, I'm telling you, I'm teaching you the chapter beta lactams. Beta lactams include four chapters. Penicillin, cephalosporin, monobactam, carbepenam. I will teach you all four chapters now. Right. So the first chapter is the penicillin. Before starting the four chapters, I have taught you mechanism of action of all of them in common, which is common. And the three ways of resistance in all of them, which is common. So the three ways of resistance and mechanism of action is same in all of them. Whether you say this, this, this and this. You know what is mechanism of action? In short, it inhibits cell wall synthesis inhibition by causing inhibition of an enzyme known as transpeptidase. So that cross-linking do not take place. You sub MCQs are. And the three way of resistance you already know, which is important in gram positive, which is important in gram negative, which is important in both, which is the most common, you know the answers with, along with diagram. Let me start the chapters now. Let me start the first chapter, the most important chapter, penicillin. Shall I start penicillin? Are you people with me? I'm starting the first chapter, penicillin. Penicillin is the first antibiotic which was discovered. It was discovered by Alexander Fleming. That's why Alexander is the father of antibiotic. He has discovered the first antibiotic and the name of the first antibiotic is penicillin. So penicillin is the first antibiotic to be discovered, to be used. And it was discovered by a scientist. The credit for the discovery goes to Alexander Fleming. It is an MCQ, right? It is, it is uh, synthesized inside a fungus. The name of the fungus is Penicillium notatum or Penicillium chrysogenum. Since the name of the fungus is Penicillium, that's why it is known as penicillin. Penicillin ko penicillin kyun kehte hai? Because it is synthesized inside two fungus. The name of the fungus is PBMCQ hai. Penicillin notatum and penicillin chrysogenum. So ye hua introduction. After introduction come on classification. We are done with introduction. The same headings we will continue. In the end we will make the table. Give me a thumbs up. Are you people there? So Sai, Amar, Akshita. Right. Priyanka, shall I continue? So penicillin is the first antibiotic which was discovered. It was discovered by a scientist, Alexander, who is the father of antibiotic. It is discovered inside the fungus. The name of the two fungus is Penicillium notatum and Penicillium chrysogenum. That's why it is known as penicillin. Coming on the classification. Now see, everyone see here. The first penicillin is the natural penicillin. Natural penicillin. The second is the semi-synthetic. Semi-synthetic means artificial one. And the third one is the beta lactamase inhibitors. Actually, these are not penicillin. These are additive. These, we, we just uh, supplement the penicillin with them. Right. So, there are three categories. Natural penicillin is only one. Listen, listen everyone. Natural penicillin is only one. Benzyl penicillin. Benzyl penicillin. Also known as penicillin G. That is the only natural penicillin. You will say, ma'am, if natural penicillin is available, why you are making artificial one? Natural one is good enough. Why you are making the semi-synthetic and synthetic versions? There are three problems in natural penicillin. To overcome the three problems, we are making three different types of synthetic penicillin. What are the three problems? Let's see, have a look on the three problems. The first problem of the natural penicillin is that it is acid labile. In the stomach, mein acid hota hai. the gastric, the stomach contains HCl acid and it is acid labile. If I take a tablet of natural penicillin, that is benzyl penicillin, it will not work. So as soon as the tablet, I will take the tablet, the tablet will go in the stomach, the, the penicillin will be degraded by the um, acid. So it is acid labile. So I have created another penicillin, which is acid resistant alternative. So that is another penicillin. It is a synthetic one. It is not natural one. So that problem is overcome here. That problem is overcome here. The first problem was acid labile. So we have made the artificial one, which is acid stable. Instead of acid labile, the artificial one is acid stable. The natural one is acid labile. That was problematic. Because if you want to give the natural one, tablet is not possible. You have to give injections. Every time you have to give injections. And injections are not comfortable to the patients. Patients are more comfortable with the oral route. So tablets are more comfortable. Injections are painful. That's why not comfortable to most of the patients. Right. But natural penicillin is available only in injectable form. 
oral form tablets aati hi nahi hai natural penicillin ki they are not available because it is acid dependent so that is a drawback which is overcome in the synthetic one the first drawback everyone give me a thumbs up coming on the second drawback the second drawback the natural penicillin ke liye already duniya mein jitne bhi bacteria hai na sabne ye enzyme pehle se bana rakha hai penicillinase enzyme penicillinase enzyme or beta lactamase enzyme is present in all the bacteria in the world whatever present so pan natural penicillin ke liye resistance aa gaya so natural penicillin the bacteria have already have the enzyme so as soon as you will give the natural penicillin the enzyme is already kyunki wo sabse purana hai na so enzyme is the, the exposure is all, already there and all the bacteria have already synthesized the enzyme so as soon as you will give the natural penicillin the natural one so the enzyme is already present inside the bacteria and the enzyme will degrade the beta lactam membrane and the natural penicillin will be degraded and it will be inactive so that is the problem that is penicillinase enzyme is already present so that's why ghungat lagana padega you got my point abhi bataya tha na so we we have to cover the beta lactam ring of the natural penicillin by the side chains right such a penicillin in which we have covered the beta lactam ring with the help of side chains is known as penicillinase resistant penicillin right and here penicillinase enzyme cannot uh this here penicillinase enzyme cannot degrade the beta beta lactam ring because it is covered with the side chains with the ghungat you got my point so that is the second problem which is resolved here main problem in natural was that it was acid labile so always injective injections has to be given oral route not available so we have created a artificial one which is acid resistant version right the second problem in the natural natural penicillin is that enzymes are present inside all bacteria for the beta lactam ring so we have add the side chain over the beta lactam ring in the artificial one and created a artificial one in which beta lactam ring is hidden inside the side chain such a penicillin is known as penicillinase resistant penicillin but again the first problem is persistent in that you know usme se acid wala problem solve hua beta lactam ring wala nahi hua isme se beta lactam ring wala solve hua acid wala nahi hua right teeno problem kisi bhi ek mein solve nahi hua you got my point and what is the third problem in natural the third problem in natural is that uh, the spectrum is very narrow natural penicillin kills only few gram positive bacteria None of the gram-negative bacteria and anaerobes are killed by natural penicillin. So spectrum is very, very narrow. इतने कम नैरो का क्या करें spectrum का? So we have made some changes in the natural penicillin. We have added amino group, we have added carboxy group, and we have added uridyl group to the natural penicillin. We have added this group to the natural penicillin to increase the spectrum. So we have we have created artificial penicillins which extended spectrum. Every one give me a thumbs up. So what I am telling you. The natural penicillin is available. Natural penicillin is only one. What is the name of that penicillin? Either it is known as penicillin G or benzyl penicillin. So penicillin, penicillin G or benzyl, benzyl penicillin. This is the natural penicillin. So you should ask me, ma'am, this one is sufficient. Why to create artificial one if natural one is available? Natural one is available, but there are three problems, three drawbacks in the natural one. That's why we have to do semi-synthetic version, right? So there are three problems to overcome. The three problems we are creating three type of artificial or semi-synthetic penicillins apart from natural. So what are the three problems? The first problem, the natural acid, uh, the natural penicillin, is acid labile. This one is acid labile. So as soon as if it comes in the form of the tablets, if I am the patient, I am taking a tablet of natural penicillin, penicillin G. So as soon as it will reach the stomach, stomach contain acid. The acid will degrade it. The acid will destroy, degrade it, and it will become non-functional. And every time, so it is it is it is um, useful only if given injectable. But injections are not comfortable to the patients. Not all patients are comfortable. Oral route is the most comfortable and cheapest and most convenient route, right? So here, natural penicillin is always always available in the form of the injection. Oral route is not available because it is acid labile. So we have created an artificial penicillin which is acid stable, for which we can easily make the tablets. So the first version is the acid stable version. That is a semi synthetic penicillin. The first version. The second problem in the natural penicillin is that what is the second problem? Uh, for this penicillin, bacteria, most of the bacteria in the world, they have already created an enzyme, penicillinase enzyme. So as soon as natural penicillin The with the beta lactam ring enters inside the bacteria, the enzyme is already present and the ring will be degraded and natural penicillin will become inactive. It cannot show its action, it, so bacteria shows resistance for that. So we have artificially created such penicillin in which the beta lactam ring is covered with side chain. So you know, so we have covered the face of a girl with a cover. So gungat pana diya. So the face is not visible now. So we are making fool to the bacteria. The bacteria will be fool. The bacteria will think when this this penicillin enters inside the bacteria, bacteria will think there is no beta lactam ring. But beta lactam ring is there, but it is hidden inside. 
from the side chain. Such a penicillin is known as penicillinase resistant penicillin. Penicillinase resistant penicillin, a special form of penicillin, which is resistant to penicillinase. The enzyme cannot kill it. So that is the second problem solved here, right? Now the third problem in the natural penicillin. What is the third problem in natural penicillin? What is the third problem in natural penicillin? Uh, natural penicillin have a very narrow uh, spectrum. It can kill only few gram positive bacteria. It cannot kill gram negative bacteria. So we have created artificial penicillin in which extended spectrum is possible. So we have created three type of artificial penicillin in which we have expanded the spectrum. We have added amino group in the natural penicillin known as amino penicillin. We have added carboxy group in the natural penicillin and known as carboxy penicillin. And we have added urido group in the natural penicillin known as urido penicillin. So that is the classification. Now I will tell you drugs inside each category. Do you have any problem in that? Do you have any problem in that? Say yes or no. Right. So you can see, we will see the classification. Further, we will see the classification. Uh, you have to give me a minute. Let me erase it. And go on the same page again to tell you the classification. Now you tell me the classification. Classification is easy now. You can, you can say natural penicillin, artificial penicillin. Right. Natural penicillin is only one benzyl penicillin or penicillin G. That's it. Artificial penicillin. The semi-synthetic is artificial. They are of three types. You already know the three types. What are the three types? Acid-resistant version, acid-resistant penicillin, penicillinase-resistant penicillin. And extended spectrum penicillin. Right. You got my point. So in acid resistant alternatives, only one penicillin is there. The name of the drug is phenoxymethyl penicillin. Phenoxymethyl penicillin is there. Here benzyl penicillin was there. Here phenoxymethyl penicillin. Only one drug is there. Only one. Penicillinase resistant penicillin. There are five drugs. Here only three names are given. I will tell you all five. I will teach you each of these categories. So there is a mnemonic. There are five. Three of them is methicillin, cloxacillin, decloxacillin. These are, pan they have side chains over time, right? And extended spectrum, may again, three categories, amino, carboxy, urido. So there are various penicillins inside them. We will study the drug name inside each of them when, it, when we will study individual class. And in the end, I will teach you beta lactamase inhibitor. In a lucky story, a very interesting story. I will tell you like a movie story here. Let me reach here. These are not penicillins. Uh, these are to be given along with penicillin, but these are not antibiotic. These are not penicillins. I will explain you their story. So currently, first of all, I will teach you in this session the natural penicillin. Everything about natural penicillin. After that, in the semi-synthetic, I will teach you acid-resistant one. Then I will teach you penicillinase-resistant one. And then I will teach you extended one. In the extended also, I will teach you amino, carboxy, urido. So I will teach you all these penicillins. And in the end, we will continue with this. Everyone give me a thumbs up. That will be my sequence. Start with the natural one. Start. Uh, before that, there are few polls on the classification. You want to do the polls? Or let me skip the polls. Okay. Let me skip the polls. Okay. Start with the natural penicillin. I'm starting the natural penicillin. Everyone here on the gazettes. Everyone here. Start with the natural penicillin known as benzyl penicillin or penicillin G. One and the same thing. One and the same thing. It is a natural penicillin but there are three problems as usual they are written. They are not effective orally because they are break down by the acid in the stomach. So, always injections has to be given. Number two, they have very narrow spectrum. They are active only against gram-positive bacteria, gram, not gram-negative bacteria. And third problem is not written here. They are susceptible. They are susceptible for the penicillinase enzyme. So, natural penicillin, natural penicillin is penicillin G, penicillin G or benzyl penicillin. One and the same thing, benzyl penicillin. So, that is having three problems. Acid susceptible, susceptibility to the acid. Penicillinase, penicillinase susceptible, susceptibility for the acid, susceptibility for the enzyme and narrow spectrum. The spectrum is narrow. So say three problems in short. The susceptibility for the acid, that's why given injectable. The susceptibility for the enzyme, that's why it, they are resistant. They are resistant and narrow spectrum. So active against only gram positive bacteria, not gram negative bacteria. So that is the introduction. Give me a thumbs up. So spectrum, I have already told you the spectrum, they are active against few, few gram-positive bacteria, very limited spectrum. Pharmacokinetics, they are acid labile. That's why given injectable. That's why given injectable, always injectable. Mechanism of action, you already know, so I'm not teaching you. Mechanism of action, they inhibit cell wall synthesis, right? They inhibit cell wall synthesis. Coming on pharmacokinetics now. Uh, okay. Coming on adverse effects now. Adverse effects. There are three adverse effects of natural penicillin. 
What are the three adverse effects? Number one, local irritation. Number two, hypersensitivity. Number three, Jarish Hadzima reaction, which is very important. It's very important. Local irritation, you can understand. Local irritation means uh, it is given IM injection now, so they are painful. They are painful. When injection is given, patient feels pain. Locally irritated, right? Uh, hypersensitivity allergies are very common with penicillin. I'm explaining you Jarish Hadzima reaction. Pronounce it clearly. It is Jarish Har X He Mar. So Jarish Har Eczema reaction. So what is happening? Imagine a syphilitic patient is coming to your clinic. The diagnosis is made. The patient is having syphilis. You have made the diagnosis. The patient is having syphilis. Right. It is diagnosed. It is a diagnosed case of syphilis. For the treatment, what is the drug of choice of syphilis? It is penicillin. For the treatment, you are giving penicillin, the natural penicillin. Right. For the treatment, you are giving penicillin to this patient. Right. Uh, let me draw the blood vessel of this patient separately. So this is the blood vessel of this patient. In the blood vessel of this patient, you can see this is the bacteria of syphilis. That is trypanoma pallidium. This bacteria is causing syphilis. We know the bacteria of syphilis that is trypanoma pallidium. So this is the bacteria present in the blood. And you have given penicillin to treat it, right? So penicillin is also going in the blood. So this penicillin is acting on the cell wall of the bacteria. This is the cell wall of the bacteria. The penicillin is acting on the cell wall of the bacteria, inhibiting the cell wall synthesis. So this bacteria is dead. The bacteria is dead. Trypanoma pallidium bacteria is dead on giving a course of penicillin, right? And it will degrade it into multiple pieces. So the bacteria will be degraded into multiple pieces. This is known as lysis of the bacteria. These are known as bacterial lytic products. Bacterial lytic products in response to the penicillin action, right? Due to this bacterial lytic products, the body, the human body uh, become hypersensitive. These, these all are like foreign material, no? These all are like foreign. So in the body, hypersensitivity reaction will take place. The body will respond abruptly. The immune system will become hyperactive the, of this person. And what will happen? This person will have various symptoms. The person will have fever. The person will have headache. The person will have hypotension. He will go in shock. And all hypersensitivity reactions will take place. And he will feel that he is becoming more and more sick on taking treatment. You got my point. So he will call you. He will call you. The patient will call you. Doctor, you have given me treatment, penicillin. You have given me injection of penicillin. But after the injection, I feel more sick. I'm having hybrid fever. I'm having hypertension. I'm having this, that. My lesions are exacerbated. So what is that? Have you given some wrong drug? What is something is happening to me? So you just calm down the patient. It is the reaction of penicillin. It is not the wrong drug. It means the penicillin is acting. But it means that penicillin is acting. I have given you penicillin injection. The penicillin injection is causing death of the bacteria. And the bacterial lytic products is causing this reaction. So it is an adverse effect. That is hypersensitivity reaction to the bacterial lytic products. And this reaction is known as jarish hexima reaction. So ask the patient to continue the treatment. Don't stop the treatment in between. And it will be subsided automatically. That is known as jarish hexima reaction. So lesions become exacerbated. So whenever a syphilitic patient... You are giving penicillin injection as a treatment, which is the drug of choice for syphilitic patient. Whenever you are giving penicillin in injection, the patient has shivering, the patient has fever, the patient has myalgia, separation of the lesions, even vascular collapse. So patient feel you have given some wrong injection. That's why patient is feeling all these. But just calm down the patient, consult the patient. It is the right treatment. It is the side effect of the treatment. It means treatment is working inside you, right? And all this is due to spirolytic lytic products, bacterial lytic products. And it will last for the next two, three days. And in the next two, three days, you, it will automatically go away. If you, if you are feeling more sick, just take aspirin as a painkiller and just take a sedative drug and just sleep. Sleep for the next few hours, you will become all right. No need to interrupt the therapy. Don't leave the therapy in between. Continue penicillin injection. Right. That is the Jarish Hexima reaction. Give me a thumbs up. So have you got it? Have you got it? So we are done with the adverse effect. Only three adverse effects are there. The most important is Jarish. Jarish Hexima reaction. It occurs in a syphilitic patient. Have you got it? Amar. Have you got it? So Lobezu, thank you. Thank you very much uh, for, uh, 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 for your compliment. Okay, what is the GNV for doctor? What you are asking GNV on this slide, I just forgot. I just missed your comment, Bubizu. So please elaborate. What is GNV? I even I don't know for this slide you are asking. Anyways, so coming on the uses. Coming on the uses of penicillin. The uses of the penicillin, I'm having a mnemonic for you. The mnemonic is in front of you. Penicillin, the natural penicillin I'm teaching you. Penicillin G, natural penicillin is drug of choice. For all these infections, 
all these bacterial infection. The mnemonic is last man DP, last man DP. L for lis, lis, leptospira, A for actinomycetes, S for streptococcus staphylococcus both, strepto staphylo. E is trypanoma and titanus, trypanoma pallidium, that is syphilis and titanus, right? M for meningococcus, M for meningococcus, A N for anthrax and actinomycetes, D for diphtheria, P for pneumococcus. You got my point? So I would like to write last, can you help me? Man, DP. Can you help me? Someone, leptospira, actinomycetes, staphylococcus, streptococcus both. So there are two S. Trypanoma and titanus both. So there are two T. Meningococcus, anthrax, anthrax, diphtheria, pneumococcus. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. So the, in all these infections, penicillin is drug of choice. Penicillin, natural penicillin is drug of choice. That is the curative treatment. But we use penicillin for prophylaxis also. We use penicillin for prophylaxis also in these three diseases. As a prophylaxis in rheumatic fever, in bacterial endocarditis and agranulocytic patient. You know what is agranulocytosis patient? WBC count are less due to chemotherapy, due to anything. If WBC count are less, the patient have high chances of developing infection. In endocarditis, patient have high chances of developing uh, infection. Rheumatic fever. So we give prophylactic penicillin in that. Right? Rheumatic fever, bacterial endocarditis, and a granulocytic patient. I am done with natural penicillin. Can anyone of you help me with natural penicillin summary? Natural penicillin. Can you tell me the summary of natural penicillin? Let me ask the question. First, tell me the synonyms. The two other names given. Tell me the classification, not the synonym. Tell me the classification of natural penicillin. Natural penicillin me kitne penicillin aate Tell me that. Right. After that, tell me the mechanism of action. Right. After that, tell me uh, the adverse effect and tell me the uses. I guess that's it. The pharmacokinetics was important. That's it. Who will tell me the answers? Amar, Akshita, Pravina. Would you like to tell me the answer? Natural penicillin have only one penicillin. What is the name of that penicillin? Only one penicillin it improved. That is benzyl penicillin. Benzyl penicillin. Also known as penicillin G. So that is the classification over. Mechanism of action. Since it is a beta lactam antibiotic. It inhibits cell wall synthesis by inhibiting the enzyme transpeptidase. You already know the complete story. In pharmacokinetics, the most important point is that it is acid labile. It is acid labile. That's why it comes in the form of injections. That's it. Adverse effects are three. What are the three adverse effects? Uh, I guess irritative effect. I guess allergy, hypersensitivity. Most important is Jarish hexima reaction. You know what is Jarish hexima reaction. Coming on the users. Users are very easy to learn. Last man DP. Say the full form. So learn the adverse effect. Learn the users. You know the mechanism of action. You know the pharmacokinetics. You know the classification. That's it. We are done. Yes. Yes sign. Absolutely right. Yes sign. Katakam. Absolutely right. Yes Pramina. Right. So shall we move ahead? Shall we move ahead? Natural is done. Okay. Give me a minute. Let me move to the next penicillin now. After natural penicillin. Let me move to the synthetic penicillins now. We are done with the natural one. We have seen natural one. Ka kuch dekh liya humne. We started with the classification. We know the classification. Mechanism of action of all of them is same. We have seen that also. We have seen pharmacokinetics. We have seen users. We have seen adverse effect. That's it. Now coming on semi-synthetic one. In the sam why we have created semi-synthetic? There are three types of semi-synthetic. We have sam created semi-synthetic to overcome the shortcomings of the natural. There are three shortcomings. There are shortcomings means problem. There are three shortcomings in the natural penicillin. The first one, it is acid labile. So we have created an artificial one, which is acid resistant. It is susceptible to penicillin. So we have created artificial one, which are resistant to penicillin. And they have narrow spectrum of activity. So we have created the artificial one, which have, which have wider spectrum uh, activity or expanded activity. I guess everyone got it. The natural penicillin have three shortcomings. Susceptibility to acid susceptibility to penicillinase enzyme and narrow spectrum so what are the three what are the three artificial versions which have solved the individual problem susceptibility to the acid is solved by acid resistant version susceptibility to penicillin is solved by penicillin resistant versions and narrow spectrum is solved by wide spectrum the extended spectrum we made extended spectrum by adding three things to penicillin. Either amino group to the penicillin, amino penicillin, carboxy group to the penicillin, carboxy penicillin, and uridopenicillin. 
So there are three types of extended spectrum. We will be talking them one by one. Let's take this one, the acid resistant, the acid resistant one. In the acid resistant one, only one penicillin is there. The name of the penicillin is phenoxy, phenoxy methyl penicillin or penicillin 5, penicillin V. Phenoxy methyl penicillin, penicillin V. So it only differs from the natural penicillin only in one thing. That is, it is acid stable. And it comes in the form of the oral tablets also. Right, because it is acid stable. That is the only difference. Rest, everything is same as that of natural only. Everyone give me a thumbs up. It is acid stable. So oral absorption is better and tablets are available. Spectrum is same. Spectrum is not in It is only active against gram positive bacteria only like the natural one. Give me a thumbs up. And uses and adverse effects are, are same. So we are done with the natural one. We are done with the acid resistant version also. Right. Till now two penicillins are done. The natural one is done. And acid resistant one are done. Right. Tell me classification of both. Tell me classification of both. Right. Uh, classification ke baad. Tell me mechanism of action of both. Tell me spectrum of both. Tell me pharmacokinetics of both. Tell me uses of both. Tell me adverse effect of both. So everything is same. You know, classification here the name is benzyl penicillin. Benzyl penicillin or penicillin G. Here phenoxy methyl. Phenoxy methyl penicillin. So name is different. But one one penicillin is there. Mechanism of action is same. Both of them inhibit cell wall synthesis. Spectrum is same. Both of them are active against gram positive bacteria only. That's it. Pharmacokinetics is different. Here pharmacokinetics it is injectable and here it is oral. That is different. Uses are same. For both of them, I would like to tell you the same uses that is last man DP. And adverse effect, the jarish hexima reaction. So you know everything. Everything is same. So only difference coming here and in the classification. That's it. So we are done with the two penicillins till now. Shall I move to the third category? So we are done. We are done with the natural one. In the artificial one, there are three. The first artificial is acid resistant. Now I'm starting the second artificial. The second artificial is penicillinase resistant. Penicillinase resistant. Shall I, shall I start? I'm starting this category. In the artificial one, I'm starting this one. So natural is done. Artificial or semi-synthetic me pehla done. Coming on the second one. So I'm starting the second one. Penicillinase resistant penicillin. Shall I start? Give me a, give me a thumbs up. Are you people there? So what is the problem in the natural? Natural me kya? Second problem kya thi? Jisko resolve karne ke liye humne ye banaya. What was the shortcoming in the natural penicillin for resolving which we have, we have artificially constituted this variant? What was the problem? The problem is in front of you. Okay. Let me show you the problem. Just a second. Here is the problem. So, this is the natural penicillin. Can you see this one? So, this is the cell of the bacteria. This is the cell of the bacteria. I want to kill this bacteria because it is, it is causing disease in my patient. This bacteria is present inside the body of my patient. So, for treating my patient, I am giving... Natural penicillin to my patient. This is the structure of natural penicillin. So natural penicillin is going inside the bacteria. It is entering inside the bacteria. It is having a beta lactam ring. But all the bacteria in the world already have enzyme. Can you see this is the enzyme? This is already have enzyme for this. So as soon as the natural penicillin enter, the enzyme will act on the beta lactam ring and degrade the ring. Usko tod dega, break down the ring. So enzyme is known as beta lactamase enzyme because it is degrading beta lactam ring. So beta lactamase or penicillinase enzyme because it is degrading the penicillin ring. That is, can I say natural penicillin? Natural penicillin is penicillinase enzyme susceptible. It is susceptible for the penicillinase enzyme. As soon as it will enter, the enzyme will degrade it and it will become non-functional. So it cannot show its action. The bacteria will survive. The bacteria will live. Bacteria will not die because penicillin cannot kill the bacteria because bacteria killed the penicillin. I have given penicillin to kill bacteria. But on the contrary, bacteria have killed the penicillin by enzyme. So, so penicillin is enzyme susceptible. The name of the enzyme is penicillinase. Can I say that? Can I say that? Give me a thumbs up if I can say that. Give me a thumbs up if I can say that. So what we have done, we have covered the, what's the problem? The problem is the beta lactam ring. As soon as this enzyme could the beta lactam ki ring aye chalo chal ke tod hai. Right. So we have covered the ring. We have covered the ring from all sides with the help of side chains. So the ring is not it is present but we have covered in a goomba. So we are covering the face of it and then sending inside, right? We are smart now. We humans are smart, right? So the natural penicillin is converted to artificial one. So in the natural penicillin, I have covered the beta electron ring with the help of side chain. So such a natural penicillin with side chain, now the enzyme cannot recognize it. And it will now, enzyme will not degrade it. The, the bacteria will cause 
uh, uh, killing of the uh, the penicillin will kill the bacteria. The bacteria will not kill the penicillin because we have covered the ring with the help of side chain. Such a penicillin in which side chain is added to the natural penicillin, it is known as penicillinase resistant penicillin. So the second, the second one is the penicillinase resistant penicillin. Here, so here we have added side chains to protect the beta lactam ring, to cover the beta lactam ring, to hide, to hide. The word is hide. Protect is zada acha word hai yahan pe hide. To hide the beta lactam ring from the attack of penicillinase. We do not want penicillinase to attack on the ring. You got my point? Now see, where is the ring here? Here is the ring. Here is the ring. Here is the ring. Here is the ring. Chup gai na? See how many side chains we have added. We have added side chains from all sides. So it is invisible now. We have added multiple side chains. Right? So oxacillin, cloxacillin, decloxacillin, fluoxacillin. How many are there? There is a pneumonic condom. Right? So they are, I guess, 6 in number or 5 in number. So C stands for cloxacillin. O stands for oxacillin. N stands for nephicillin, right? D for decloxacillin and O for kuch nahi hai or M is methicillin. Give me a thumbs up. So C, O and D, M. This is the mnemonic. Cloxa, oxa, nephli, decloxa and methicillin. In all of them, side chains are present. The side chains are present on the beta lactam ring. So these are penicillinase resistant penicillin. That is the classification. You got my point? So five are there in the classification. Here's so the team. Extend that. Usko panch do. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Right. So they are penicillinase resistant. They are penicillinase resistant. But pehla property nahi hai. They are not acid resistant. They are injectable. You got my point? Tumne ek problem. Yaha pe tumne ek problem solve kiya. Ki ye acid resistant hai. Right. They are acid resistant. Tumne first problem solve kar diya. They are acid resistant. Is me tumne second problem solve kiya. They are penicillinase resistant. Lekin pehla wala solve nahi hua. It is not that thing ki do, both problems are solved. They are only resi acid resistant, not penicillin resistant. And they, the second one, the second one are only penicillin resistant. I'm sorry, what is happening? Just a second. These one are only penicillin resistant, not acid resistant. You got my point. Is me only first problem solve hua. Is me only second solve hua. Dono problem solve hua, aisa nahi hua. To ye log sirf acid resistant hai. Penicillinase nahi hai. Ye log sirf penicillinase resistant hai. Lekin acid resistant nahi hai. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Come on. You got my point. You got my point. So that is the thing. That is the thing. Right. Lekin uh, the penicillins are, uh, the bacteria are even smarter than this. Unho ne apna dousra way dhoom liya. Resistance ka. That is altered plasma protein. Altered penicillin binding proteins. You know what are penicillin binding proteins. Right. So coming on the third and the last category. Extended spectrum. Till now we have seen natural we have seen the acid resistant and we have seen the penicillinase resistant. The last one are the extended. Shall I start the extended one? Extended spectrum. So in the natural penicillin, they were active only against gram positive. That the spectrum is very narrow. So we try to extend it. We add three groups to the natural penicillin. Either we add amino, so spectrum is little bit expanded. We add carboxy, so or expand work. Or you do add connective about the maximum extent over here. So we see this, the spectrum in the three. Let's start amino. Amino. Here we add an amino substitute in the natural uh, penicillin. They are acid stable bhi hai. Lekin penicillin is stable nahi hai. Pani property to hai. Dusri nahi hai. Here ampicillin is the drug. And uh, here uh, it is active against all gram positive. Like natural penicillin. Negative me se itno ke liye hai. So ye itna additional mila. Additionally you are getting this, this spectrum. So they are active against H influenza, E. coli, Proteus, Salmonella, Shigella, H. pylori. So these 5-6 gram negative bacteria are also susceptible. Right. Natural mist sirf gram positive thay. Yahan pe gram positive ke saath ye sab additional hai. Kaun kaun se? Say it again. So it is H influenza. It is E. coli. H influenza. E. coli. Proteus. Salmonella. Shigella. And H. pylori. So in sab ke against active hai. Additionally. Apart from natural ka gram positive. If we had carboxy. It is, if we had carboxy. So ye na to penicillinase resistant hai. Na to acid resistant hai. Right. And here the main drug is car carbicillin. Right. Here spectrum, this pseudomonas ke against be active hai, apart from all these. Isme gram positive to hai hai, thik hai, like natural. Gram negative me se wo sab bhi hai hai. Like E. coli, Salmonella, Shigella, Proteus, H. pylori. Additionally pseudomonas aur a gaya. Additionally pseudomonas, Klebsiella, ye aur a gaya. That is the second one. And the last one is the Urido. Urido, sab se main. Yaan pe Piperacillin is the main drug. Is ye bhi pseudomonas ke liye active hai, but eight times more as compared to carboxy. And it is bacteriocytes ke against be active by Klebsiella ke against be. So this is having wide spectrum. And here the drugs are, this is having wide spectrum. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Right. So these are the three type of 
Anacillus, we have done. So let me give you the classification just a second of the three type of artificial uh, this extended spectrum value. I'm searching for something. Give me a minute. I will give you the classification of the extended spectrum. Yes, this one. See this page. So amino penicillins, they are two. A A. Ampicillin, amoxicillin. Carboxy penicillin, they are two. C T. It is carbenicillin and ticarcillin. And uridopenicillin are three in number. M A P. That is mesloscillin, azloscillin, piperacillin. So A A C T map. This is A A. This is C T. And this is MAP. I am summarizing the chapter penicillin. I am summarizing the chapter penicillin. If you want to hear, everyone concentrate here. Everyone. So I am making multiple columns. Everyone here. Let me take another page. So this is the final summary or master table you can say. So write natural penicillin here. The natural one. Now we start artificial one. Three artificial one, one by one. So the first artificial one is the acid resistant. Acid resistant formulation. Right. The second is penicillinase resistant formulation. Right. And the third one is the extended spectrum. Extended spectrum, we are having three. So the first one is amino. The second one is carboxy, carboxy. And the third one is urido. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Jitne audience ho ki thumbs up do. Sabse pehle to, first of all, you tell me classification. Iske andar kitne kitne drugs aati hain in each of them. Tell me the classification. The most important point. The most important point. Uske baad tell me three things. Which of them are acid resistant? Which of them are penicillinase resistant? Which of them? Right. And then tell me the spectrum of each of them. Right. Then tell me. After that, I will tell you uses and adverse effects is same. Mechanism of action is same for all of them. Uses the same for all of them. And uh, side effects is same for all of them. That is of natural penicillin only. Give me a thumbs up. Shall I tell you? Who will tell me the classification? Here in natural penicillin, only one penicillin is there. That is benzyl penicillin, also known as penicillin G. Right. In acid resistant one, phenoxy methyl penicillin is there. Only one penicillin. Right. In penicillinase resistant, condom, C O N D M, that is cloxacillin, oxacillin, nephricillin, dacloxacillin, and methicillin. There are five in number. Give me a thumbs up. Amino me A A, there are two. Carboxy me do, C T, or urido me MAP, M A P MAP. I told you, Nanimonic. So it is ampicillin, amoxicillin. It is carboxicillin, ticarcillin. And here it is mazlicillin, aslocillin, piperacillin. Is this easy? Kya batao? Kitte saare mnemonics maine bata diye. How many? Here I give you a mnemonic. 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 Here only one one are there, so no mnemonic is required. So the classification of the penicillin is over. Tell me natural only one. Tell me acid resistant only one. Tell me penicillin is resistant. They are five. So the mnemonic is condom C O N D M. So it is cloxacillin, oxacillin, nephricillin, dicloxacillin, methicillin. Now come on extended spectrum. There are three. Amino, carboxy, urido. So A, A, C, T, map. You know the full form. So at least classification be bohat questions over. Right? Chalo. We will move further. Right? We will move further now. Now tell me the natural one. Natural one me there are three problems. Neither it is acid resistant. No. It is acid susceptible. Nor it is penicillinase resistant. No. It is penicillinase also susceptible. And the spectrum is very narrow. Only gram positive bacteria. That's it. So that is the summary of natural one. So all the three shortcomings are there. All three shortcomings are in front of you. One, two, three in the natural one. That's why we have created artificial. Chalo, start the artificial one. In the artificial one, start with acid resistant. As the name indicate, as the name indicate ki acid resistant hai, to acid resistance to present hai. But it is not penicillin is resistant. Acid resistant to hai, one of the problem is solved. But second problem is not solved. Right. And the third problem is also not solved. It is active against only gram positive bacteria like natural only. The spectrum is narrow. Chalo, coming on the second artificial, the second artificial is penicillinase resistant, right? As the name indicates, it is resistant to the penicillin. Yeah, it's a but again it is acid labile. So, the problem is all with you, it's all with right? So, only it is, this one is only acid stable, this one is only penicillinase stable. None of them is both stable. You got my point? And the spectrum is still narrow. It is only active against ground positive like natural only. Spectrum is not happening. Now, come on the spectrum. Now, come on the spectrum. Now come on the spectrum. In the spectrum, there are three, amido, carboxy, and urido. So here, both of them, they are negative. Both of them, they are negative. But the first one, this is positive, this is negative. You got my point. So these problems are not took here. The first two problems, that is acid resistance and penicillin is resistant. Only amino one is acid resistant. Rest all is negative, right? But the spectrum one, a problem is solved. So let's write spectrum, spectrum. So in amino gram positive, to hey here, like natural. But addition, in addition, it is E. coli, salmonella, shigella, H. pylori, 
प्रोटीस एंड एच इन्फ्लुएंसिंग ये सब बैक्टीरिया ग्राम नेगेटिव के एक्स्ट्रा में मिल गए राइट कार्बोक्सी में ग्राम पॉजिटिव तो है ही है ओके ये सारे तो है ही है ओके एडिशनली में सूडोमोनास मिल गया एडिशनली में सूडोमोनास मिल गया एंड यूरिडो में ठीक है ग्राम पॉजिटिव तो है ही है ये सारे तो है ही है सूडोमोनास एट टाइम मोर पोटेंट और साथ में क्लेप्सियला भी और साथ में एनरोक्स भी सो विच इज दाइडेस्ट स्पेक्ट्रम द वाइडेस्ट स्पेक्ट्रम इज द यूरिडो अच्छा सूडोमोनास के लिए कौन कौन एक्टिव है इस पर अलग से क्वेश्चन आता है सूडोमोनास के लिए कौन कौन है दीज टू These two, these two. So this, these are the drugs which are active against pseudomonas. But us may be best one are the uridine because they are eight times more potent. Is this easy? Kya batao? So this is the master table. Say yes or no. Acha. Is sab ke baad baad all these penicillin, the mechanism of action you already know. The flow chart I have told you initially only mechanism of action of fast any of them. It is same. It is same. That is it inhibits cell wall synthesis inhibition. Give me a thumbs up. Mechanism of action is same. The uh, mechanism of action is same. the ways of the three resistance the three mechanism it is same for all of them the uses is same i have told you uses in the natural last man dp you know the full form of last man dp and adverse effects are same jarish heximer reaction wo bhi sab mein same hai give me a thumbs up is easy kya batao sab kuch ho gaya classification is done right the properties are done mechanism of action is same resistance is same uses is same adverse effect is same but the properties mein ye jo confusion hota hai na students ko wo maine crystal clear kiya hai Do you understand Hindi? Have you got it? Do you have any doubt? Give me a thumbs up, otherwise. Manohar, Sai Kapatam. Give me a thumbs up. Pravina, Amar, Fatima, others. So you want to do some questions? I'm done with the chapter penicillin. The first chapter penicillin is done, right? So do you want to do some questions based on that? If yes, give me a thumbs up. Okay. If you want to do the questions, we will do the questions from the beginning, right? we will do the questions from here okay start the questions so this is question number 1 now you know the classification you can answer all of these which of the following is not a penicillinase resistant penicillin so tell me how many penicillinase resistant penicillin you know i am asking penicillinase resistant penicillin who will give the answer the mnemonic is condom c o n d m apply the mnemonic which is not coming in this mnemonic see So I guess methicillin is coming in this mnemonic. I guess oxacillin is coming in this mnemonic. I guess nephrisillin is coming in this mnemonic. But ampicillin is amino. It is extended spectrum in the amino double A. So it is not coming in this mnemonic. I guess the answer is B. What about you, Amar? Katakam. What about you, Akshita? Is the answer is B? At least participate. Yes, Amar. Yes, yes. Very good. The correct answer is B. Very good. Very good, Priyanka. Yes. So this is how you have to apply it. You can see this is the next question. Which of them is acid labile penicillin? I am asking acid. Ah, uh, I am asking acid labile. Acid labile one. Now you have to learn it. Actually, you have to learn it. Acid labile. This one is acid stable. I know that this is not the answer. ये तो acid stable है. But इन तीनों में से अब acid labile कौन है? I don't know. I really don't know. So this, so you have to learn it. So from the penicillinase resistant, one of them is also acid resist, acid resistant. So the answer is methicillin. Methicillin में दोनों property हैं. It is penicillinase resistant as well as acid resistant. Right? You can learn that separately. Right? Okay. Okay. Which among the following is not a beta lactamase resistant penicillin? Again the same question. That is penicillinase resistant penicillin. Penicillinase की जगह दूसरा नाम दे दिया beta lactamase. So which of the following is not a penicillinase resistant penicillin? So, which are penicillinase resistant penicillin? The mnemonic you already know. Apply which is not coming in this mnemonic. That will be your answer. So, which is not coming in that mnemonic? So, methicillin it is coming in the mnemonic. I guess nephrisillin it is coming in the mnemonic. Oxacillin it is also coming in the mnemonic. But C C is carbenicillin is carboxy uh, penicillin. यहाँ पे C आपका carbenicillin नहीं है. यहाँ का C cloxacillin है. This C is cloxacillin. This is not carbicillin. Carbicillin आपका यहाँ आता है. Carboxy. You know they are asking this category. Carb carbicillin is coming here. So the correct answer is B. Not A. Why you all are saying A? Akshita, Amar, Sweetie, you are saying A for this question. You are saying A for this question. You got confused, I guess. Yes, you people got confused. I am saying which of the following is not. Say read the question again. Which of the following is not a beta lactamase resistant penicillin? So, which is not coming in this category? Methicillin is coming in this category. How A can be the answer? C is the answer. Ah, uh, B is the answer. The correct answer here is B. You got my point. Say yes or no. I don't know C and A. आप लोग किसके लिए बोल रहे हो? I really don't know. 
so that was the questions there are more questions give me a minute i'm jumping on more questions so you can see this question all of the following are uses therapeutic uses of penicillin except tell me the answer of except apply the mnemonic what is the mnemonic of uses what is the mnemonic of uses last man dp last man dp i guess you know the full form apply it apply it i guess meningitis is coming here bacterial meningitis uh syphilis is trypanoma that is also coming here and anthrax is an an anthrax there. but rickettsia is not coming i guess b is the answer you have to apply the mnemonic b is the answer say yes or no you know last man dp last man dp bataya na maine c rickettsia is not coming here see all the three options this is anthrax an for anthrax this is meningitis meningitis is coming and trypanoma is the syphilis they are coming yes yes you all are right the b is the correct answer right because rickettsia is not coming in that mnemonic the next question is in, is in front of you which of the following is true for penicillin g that is natural penicillin natural ke liye kya sahi hai tell me which option is true for natural the first penicillin the natural penicillin is it effective orally it is true yes or no it is having wide spectrum it is true yes or no it is used in red bite fever it is true yes or no or probenecid given along with penicillin decreases its duration of action which one of the following is true you all know that it is not effective orally i guess right the it is acid labile that's why not effective orally it is having a narrow spectrum active only against gram positive bacteria not wide spectrum right now red bite fever is tularemia i have told you last man dp last man dp last man dp ka there were two t one is trypanoma pallidum that is syphilis what is the other t tularemia tularemia kya hota hai red bite fever so yes it is used in red bite fever this option is correct what about option number 4 probenecid when penicillin is given with probenecid it do not decrease it increases its duration of action because probenecid decreases the attrition of penicillin so your option b galat hai it is ulta it is given opposite so only correct answer is c you got my point you got my point now coming on new questions few more questions i am having before ending the class just a minute complete questions on penicillin we will do so this is the question so what is the okay i don't know the side effects of these okay that's it that's it okay so i would like to stop here i would like to end the class here and i will continue so currently i have finished penicillins still the remaining cephalosporins carbapenem and monobactam these three chapters are remaining and after that anti tubercular drug anti leprosy drug anti malarial drug anti viral drug that i am going to take today in the evening at 6 pm that is episode number 4 so stay connected for that thank you very much for being with me we have covered penicillins i guess you have you have understood the beta lactam or penicillin and uh, understood the topic uh, so next class is today evening 6 pm i will continue with anti tubercular anti malarial anti viral please don't miss it and anti leprosy so please please don't try try to attend it live only and don't dare to miss it thank you very much for being with me on an academy the new batches for 2023 exams are already started so if you wish you can take the subscription and uh, participate in the batches the live batches there is a new batch for the repeaters also and iconic prizes are rising soon so if you want to take subscription take it now on an academy five type five type of subscriptions is available you already aware plus subscription iconic subscription light subscription prof mon subscription and upsc the various duration plans prizes is written in front of you whatever according to your wish need requirement you can take that subscription if you wish if you want discount apply my code before payment my code is sachdev that is my surname s a c h d e v sachdev and is my code thank you very much i am ending the session see you again at 6 pm the last session today 6 pm in which i will cover the remaining antimicrobials the important antimicrobials i will start with anti tubercular with dots don't miss it 6 pm 